It looks like no one set foot on this road for quite some time. I agree. And the further we get, the more I feel like this place is a whole lot bigger than we imagined. Hey! There's something strange up ahead! Let's check it out! What's the hurry? going a little too smoothly today. Let's not touch it for now. We still don't know enough about our environment. But we can't just do nothing at all because then... nothing at all will happen. Hmm... I have a feeling that this could be the core that sustains this entire bottle domain. In which case, the moment we touch it, this place will instantly revert to its original size, with all of us still inside. Yikes! Okay, okay! Paimon won't touch it! Jeez. Kaya, are we really gonna get squished inside a bottle? Of course not, Klee. I'm sure the real core of this domain is hidden away in a very safe place. Somewhere like... <laughs> over there, for example. Uh, I was so nervous that I didn't notice that big wheel at all. Wait, who goes there? doesn't seem hostile. In fact, don't you think it looks happy to see us? Really? Uh, you sure it's not gonna gobble up by my hole? I don't think it's hungry. Are you, Water Droplet? Oh dear. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm not understanding a word of this. understand us after all. Oh, I get it now. It's leading the way for us, just like the cats in Mondstadt. Like the cats? How so? When you're walking around in Mondstadt City, sometimes a cat will show up on the side of the road. It'll walk ahead of you for a while, and if you're curious enough to follow it, you'll soon find yourself in front of a fine establishment called... Exactly. So let's see where this water droplet takes us. It could be interesting.
strange contraption. And there's a weird-looking wall over there. This kind of looks like that ball of water we saw earlier. Did the water droplet bring us here because it wants our help with something? What? Your friend is trapped in the wall? Don't be sad, water droplet. We're here now. We'll save your friend. You bet. But how are we going to save them? Do we have to break down this wall somehow? Nope, we can't do that. No breaking the wall. Hmm. Do we need to find a key of some sort then? Oh no! Where'd it go? Look, the device has lit up. And it's projecting images onto the wall. A two-dimensional space with objects of the same composition as the device nested inside. Yep, what Kaya said, and that's where its friend is. But how exactly do we enter the image on the wall? Maybe... we just copy what the water droplet did? Hmm... but what does that mean? Hold on, I think Klee's on to something. Since the water droplet appears to be the key that activated the mechanism, we may be able to follow it inside simply by touching the device. The principle is no different than how we entered this bottle domain. Fair enough. Okay, deep breath, then head in. Traveler, how do you feel after entering that two-dimensional space? Any... physical side effects? You sure seem fine to Paimon! Well, I'm just glad that you're okay. Good thing you was here to look out for everyone! Can't say the same for you though, Kaya! You're pretty quick to send the Traveler inside! Hey now, I only suggested that because I was confident that the Traveler would be fine. Water Droplet, is there anyone else here besides you and your friend? Yep, you know, anyone who looks like me or my friends. Oh, it ran off again! Hopefully this is a good sign! Amazing! Come on, let's follow it! Huh. 
be a town up ahead. Huh. Maybe more people live in this domain than we thought. And maybe that's where Auntie Desert lives! Idea, the situation is now critical. Our window of opportunity to fix this is rapidly closing. I'm sure you've noticed just how much things have deteriorated in recent days. But... but even so... This is your home. Are you really going to let everything fall to pieces? I... well, I live here, but it doesn't actually belong to me. Huh? Paimon knows that voice! Anyone else who comes into this domain in the future will take one look at the ruins before them and conclude that this place was abandoned years ago. But just imagine how different things could be if you maintain this domain in perfect condition. Whoever sets foot inside would witness a magical wonderland. How miraculous it would feel to them to find such unimaginable beauty in the middle of a lifeless desert. Oh, you're right, General. Truly, but... Act now while you still can. You have to stand up to this and break free from your despair. The most important thing is to have no regrets in the end. Hmm. Well, no one chooses to have regrets, do they? But I take your point. I'll try my best to stop running away. But the question remains... of where to begin. <laughs> Paimon's figured out who it is! Is it Mr. Honorary Knight's friend from a faraway land? A divine priestess? What's that? <gasps> Is she a kind of mage? What are you doing here? Huh? We have new visitors? Greetings, everyone! This is the Valurium Mirage, and I'm the caretaker, Adia. I'm so sorry that you have to see this domain in its current state of disarray. We are actively working on repairs, and everything will be back to normal shortly. <laughs> um, I hope. Greetings, everyone. I guess I should introduce myself, too. It's alright. Just leave the introductions to me. Uh, I kind of wanted to say hello in my own way. But no harm done. I guess I'll let her do the honors. This lady is a visitor to the Domain, just like yourselves. She is a formidable military general. Have any of you heard of Inazuma's Onmyo Chamber? The... uh... what chamber? Onmyo Chamber. It's an elite training academy for gifted students of Onmyodo. Practitioners are divided into four classes, A through D, and assigned the power of Shikigami based on their mastery of the art. Uh... wait... This lady famously led the Class D underdogs to victory against the Class A favorites in the final mock campaign before graduation. An astonishing feat that few in the history of the Academy have ever achieved. Hence, Formidable General is no exaggeration. Isn't that right, General? Uh, what's wrong? Uh, <laughs> huh? Wait, so the favorites were beaten by the Class E underdogs? Uh, Paimon's not completely following. That doesn't sound like the Divine Priestess Mr. Honorary Knight's talking about. Uh-oh. Did she just get caught lying in front of someone she was trying to impress? Or maybe she uses a different identity in her private life, and this is the first time her friends are learning about it. Seems kind of embarrassing, but also kind of cool. I guess having someone else to introduce you was a good way to make an impression. Hmm, maybe I'd fit in better with everyone if I had a title too. <clears throat> Some people call me a general, but it's just their way of showing respect. My actual name is Sangonomiya Kokomi. Huh? Oh no, sorry, my mistake, General. Uh, I mean, Miss Sangonomiya. <laughs> call me whatever you like, Idea. The only important thing about names is knowing who's who. Oh, I get it now. It's like that story that Mom told me that time. Clique 
can explain. So basically, in the story, a big group of people go on an adventure to Fatherland. One of them's called the King, and some of them are called Knights. So, Miss Sangonomiya must be the super smart one who solves all the problems in the story. Uh, uh, what's that one called again? Perhaps a sage? Indeed. Wisdom is an important attribute found in military generals. Okay, well I'll just call you that. <laughs> Miss General it is. <laughs> Fine by me. Sounds really cute. Coming from you, at least cuter than my pen name, that's for sure. Well then, how should I address the rest of you? <laughs> how could I ever forget you? But what about these esteemed ladies and gentlemen accompanying you? I'd be delighted if you could introduce me to them too. Wait! Klee wants a title too! Mm, okay, got it! Klee wants to be a mage! The kind that flies around everywhere! Da da da! Whoosh! Kaya can be the faster thief. Mr. Honorary Knight can be, uh, the knight! And Paimon will be the fairy who follows the knight everywhere! Master thief, huh? <laughs> I did like playing pirates as a child. So I suppose this is an apt role for me. And I must admit, the master part is a nice touch. Uh, hold on a second. Are you saying the position of knight is now filled? You I can be the sword master who can cut through anything and also gets to wear a super sparkly cape. <laughs> That's more like it. And Kale can be... Um... The healer. Uh, no, no, I don't mind. Healer is a great role. I just don't know if I'm qualified to be one. Whenever I'm thinking of titles for myself, I usually imagine myself as an adventurer or musician. <laughs> I never thought I could be a healer. I mean, it feels like it should be Master Tainari's role, if anyone's. <laughs> don't worry, Kale. You'll be the bestest healer ever! You don't talk much, but you're very kind, just like the healers in Mom's stories. You'll do fine. I heard you're good with bandages. You can patch up a wound, can't you? Uh, I can pitch a tent. Maybe you heard wrong? <laughs> but I'll do my best. It's my first day filling in for Master Tainari, but hopefully it's the first of many. This is a great idea. Once a new visitor arrives, they can assume a new identity, then add in some role-playing. Oh, we can't leave you out, Miss Adia. Hmm. There are lots of characters in Mom's stories, but you don't remind me of any of them. That's perfectly okay. I already have a role here anyway, remember? I'm the caretaker. I got it! I got it! This wasn't in any of the stories, but you can be the mascot. Mascot? Klee, maybe you could think up an even better role for Miss Adia. A mascot, you say? Isn't that a character that doesn't have to actually do anything and sits around letting everyone else do all the important work? Incredible. You've seen right through me. Sounds like the idea of being lazy is pretty exciting to her. <laughs> the mascot serves to maintain troop morale, Idea. Don't underestimate your role. Ah, oh, alright. I'll be the mascot then. That's right! Thank you for bringing these new friends here safely. You can go off and play now. Thanks, Water Droplet. See ya! Hmm? Water Droplet? Is that your pet name for it? <laughs> I suppose it's as accurate a nickname as any. We keep getting sidetracked, but I believe you were saying something about being in a difficult predicament. Is something wrong with the Valeria Mirage? Oh, yes. About that. I'm afraid the entire domain has recently sustained some significant damage. It was as if the whole world was suddenly flipped upside down. 
a few components went missing from the core, which sustains the domain, and the impact cascaded out from there. Needless to say, many things in the Valurian Mirage have now stopped working. Just days after I agreed to let my friend's daughter come and visit too. When she gets here and sees the state this place is in... Oh, so you're Mom's friend? Hi, Auntie Desert. I'm Klee. Here, I brought the magic invite, see? Huh? Wait, so you're... you're... Look how dilated her pupils are. She must be very surprised. Yeah, and not in a good way. Mom's the one who sent me here. She's the strongest mage ever. She said that her friend lives in the desert. You live in the desert, so that must be you. Right, Auntie Desert? Ah, I see. So being a mage runs in the family. Ah, you're... You're Alice's daughter! Oh, I just want the ground to swallow me up right now! Wait, that's it! I'll hide myself away in the core of the domain! <laughs> hide there until this all blows over! See you all in a hundred years! Idea's really going through it. She's like a shriveled little forest fungus, hanging its head in shame. Kali, that's a harsh analogy. Where'd all that come from? Don't worry, Auntie Desert. Klee's here to help you. And all my friends will help, too. Just take a deep breath. And then another deep breath. And all your worries will fly away. Yeah, don't you worry. Sir fix -a -Lot over here has a good track record with this kind of thing. Well, I'm useless. But it looks like that won't matter with all you capable people around. Fantastic. Don't put yourself down, Adia. You're great, too. Thanks for your encouragement. Anyway, for the time being, please talk amongst yourselves. That'll give me some time to think things through and maybe make a start on, um, delegating. Watatsumi Island. What's it like there? There must be loads of fish, right? Wait! You look kind of like a mermaid. Are there fish in your family? Oh, uh, sorry to disappoint you, Miss Mage, but I'm just an ordinary human. I have lots of great stories about Watatsumi Island, though. Come on, let's enjoy the scenery while I tell you all about it. Feeling nervous, Kale? Well, it's your first time as a guide, after all. Hmm? Oh, no. <laughs> Not at all. I'm just, uh, still settling into the role. So I was thinking about how to talk more like Master Tainari. Well, the easiest way to imitate someone is to start with their most common turns of phrase. Oh, okay. In that case, uh, <clears throat> put that mushroom down. <sighs> now! It's highly poisonous. There you go. With just a few simple words, you've captured your master's personality perfectly. Anyway, what about your role? Don't you mind being the master thief? It doesn't sound like you're one of the good guys. <laughs> Maybe not. Until you factor in that I only steal from the enemy. I think that's enough to make me one of the good guys. Don't you? Oh! Uh... Fair point, fair point. Hmm? Who else has visited the Valoria Mirage recently? Uh, there was someone from the Academia who came not long ago. A Kasharawar scholar. Blonde hair. Architect, I think. 
He was a huge help, and redesigned many of the buildings here. Although he was always grumbling to himself, he was extremely diligent in his work. Ah, <sighs> what a kind person. I could tell that was a sensitive soul. A lot like me. Uh, sorry. Please pretend you didn't hear that. <clears throat> I'm of course a very strong and resilient person. After him, an aristocrat from Mondstadt showed up. Then the gen... I mean, Miss Sangonomiya. Unfortunately, everything here suddenly started changing before I had the chance to be a good host and show them around. Do you know where the Mondstadt aristocrat is now? If I remember correctly, he headed north after the incident. It's a pity we're having all these issues. Oh, if we could get everything working normally again, I could probably locate him in an instant. Still, not to worry. There's nothing dangerous here. Hmm. Hey, Idea! You got an update for us? We've all caught up with each other. Very well. Then please allow me, Idea, your mascot, to explain exactly what's happened here. Basically, this entire domain is powered by a device called the Central Hub, which you all saw earlier. But following a major incident, several key components from the Central Hub came loose and went flying. Four components, I believe, which has caused the Central Hub to stop turning. Oh, so that thing's supposed to spin? Yes, it definitely shouldn't be frozen still like it is now. At least, that's not how it was when I first got here. Oh, I've done such a terrible job of taking care of it, it's so embarrassing. Hey, everything's gonna be okay. Hmm. So, we need to fix the big wheel up there. And to do that, we need to find the missing parts. Right. I do know where one of the parts is. It landed not too far away. But the rest all landed in different areas. I'm afraid you'll have to go and look for those. <clears throat> now, as the caretaker and your mascot, I shall announce your respective adventure duties. Um, you can just be yourself if you want. No need to force the whole role-playing thing. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, okay, so I was thinking that maybe Swordmaster Eula and Healer Kale could investigate the Northern Zone, if that's okay? Fine by me. I was going to be looking for my cousin there anyway. I'll be your backup, Eula. I know you usually team up with Amber, so I'll try my best to fill her shoes. Oh? Well, this'll be fun. Let's see if a forest ranger can outperform an outrider. Master Thief Kaya and Mage Klee, if you could earmark some time in your busy schedules to search the West Zone. Earmark? What does that mean? It just means we mustn't forget to do it. Don't worry. We can handle that. Finally, we have our general, Miss Sangonomiya, and our knight, the Traveler. If there's no objections, please come with me to retrieve the first component. Alright, well, if anyone finds anything, come back here and we'll regroup. Please take care while you're out on the road and look after each other, especially our little mage here. You got it! I'll take extra special care of Kaya. I'll be on my best behavior. Uh... <laughs> okay, we'll leave it there for now. You two, please follow me. I remember seeing it just behind the central hub. So, how come you didn't bring it back when you first saw it? I'd have been more than happy to, if this one component was enough to fix the whole domain. But with three other components to find... Oh, I suddenly felt overwhelmed by how much work needed doing. Hmm, Paimon kinda gets that. Taking the first step is always the hardest part.
still fight. <laughs> this moment will be frozen in time. Wind, hear me. Hmm. Things are going a little too smoothly today. to really broaden my horizons. Well, that's one reason, anyway. I can explain in more detail another time. sure you're both wondering, oh, but where's the component? There's nothing here. Oh, where could it be? Oh, it's that lamp thingy, right? Water droplet showed us how that works already. Uh, yes, uh, that's the one. There goes my big introduction. Showing people the ropes is supposed to be my job. Oh, I can't believe I'm being shown up by a Hydro Eidolon. Cheer up, Idea. The Hydro Eidolon can give a basic demonstration of how to use things, but beyond that, it can't communicate. That's where you come in. Your descriptions can explain everything in full, vivid detail. Paimon forgot how persuasive Kokomi can be when she really wants to. Hmm. Sometimes having a genius strategist around really comes in handy. Oh, well, if you put it that way. <laughs> well then, just pretend like you've never seen it before, and I'll tell you all about it. This is called the Streaming Projector. Everything here in the Valurium Mirage was made using this device. All you need to do is place an item in the projector, and you can construct a corresponding item based on the shape of the original and your imagination. At least, I think that's what it used to do. With the domain in its current state, only its most basic functions are still operable. Okay, not quite that basic. At the moment, it's only able to show two-dimensional objects. I call them preprints. <laughs> Think of it like a sort of draft or blueprint or something. So you're saying the component fell into the preprints? Yes, exactly. I'll leave you to go in and physically retrieve it. Well, I, um, I'll be out here rooting for you by, uh, by doing a motivational dance! Really? No. Sorry. I feel like I have two left feet when I try to dance. I guess I'll just find a place nearby to sit and wait patiently for you. Hey, come on! Cheer up! We'll handle everything from here! Look like the component is in here. Yes, that's the one. Now you just need to bring it back out. What is this thing anyway? Some kind of gear? Belong 
things in that huge wheel? It's hard to explain, but I assure you that it's definitely one of the components. So that leaves three more components missing. Every journey begins with a first step. I think we're off to a good start, and things should keep going smoothly from here. You... you really think so? I suppose you're right. She did manage to defeat Class A at the Onmyo Chamber, after all. Um, you, uh... you don't need to keep bringing that up. Anyway, thank you for all your help. I'll take this and start trying to repair the central hub. You two may as well head back to town. Oh, why am I so clumsy? Once again, I was no help at all. The least I can do is try and handle the actual repairs. confused. You mentioned that the water droplet showed you how to use the projector? Can you tell me a little bit more about that? I'm so curious to know what happened. Oh, sure! I see. Hey, look! The wheel is spinning now! <gasps> oh. And now it's stopped again! Well, that didn't last long. It also wasn't spinning at the right speed. Before the incident, it spun much faster than that. Oh, so you saw it back when it was still working? Oh, yes. I arrived here a little earlier than the rest of you. But the incident took place not long after I entered. Like Idea said, it felt like the world was... flipped upside down. Well, I don't know how else to describe it. And I certainly don't want to experience it again. No, it's no use. Uh, seems it won't run until all the missing components are returned. For a moment there, when it started turning, I got excited. I thought that maybe the hub can work just fine without the other three. Wishful thinking is only going to lead to disappointment, Idea. Let's stick to the plan. We'll get there. Hey, Mr. Honorary Knight and Miss General are here. Oh, and our mascot! You beat us! I was sure we were gonna be the first ones back! Hey, how'd it go? <laughs> Impressive. I doubt you'd find many other knights of such caliber even among the Knights of Favonius. How about our Master Thief and Mage? Did you find anything? You bet! We made a huge discovery! The place we were trying to get to was blocked off. We couldn't see anything past it, and there was no way around. But then, just now, a huge canyon appeared out of nowhere, so we hurried back here. Huh? It appeared just now? Hmm. Come and see, Mr. Honorary Knight. Let's go on a canyon adventure. I'll sit this one out. I'm beat after trying to make those repairs. I need to take a break. Miss General, you should come too. You can hide behind me and give me smart advice while I protect you. Wonderful. It would be an honor to serve as advisor for our young mage. <laughs> Let's go!
were. Just before the canyon appeared, I heard a faint sound, like something mechanical turning. Kerchuk, kerchuk, kerchuk. Could it have been the central hub? Hmm. That would mean this canyon appeared after it started spinning. Hey, you, uh... Oh. New guys, huh? Oh, hey! Baima didn't realize anyone else besides Adia lived here. You actually saw her? <laughs> She's barely shown her face since everything started falling apart here. Uh, excuse me for asking, but... Who are you? Oh, right. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Ferdinand. Me and my brothers look after this whole zone. Well, we used to, until this whole domain was, like, flipped upside down, or whatever. The method we were using to make the carts and tracks stopped working after that. Itia is working on repairing the domain. We were just with her before coming here. Really? Huh. I assume that she'd be curled up in a fetal position somewhere, hoping all her problems will magically disappear on their own. Good for her. Anyway, I checked all the stations around the whole circuit. They've all conked out. Conked out? How? Would you mind elaborating a little for us? Uh, but aren't you just travelers who stumbled upon this place by accident? Nuh-uh! I'm Mage Klee, Idea's helper. A mage? You? <laughs> Allow me to explain. Okay, I gotcha. Well, right now, the more helpers we got, the better, I guess. Anyway, our first priority is to get the carts here up and running again. Oh? And why is that? The roads here twist and turn so much that the best way to get around is by riding the rail tracks instead. Let me show you. This is what we used to make them. Did Dia bring you up to speed on these things? Yep. Basically, we need something that we can put inside that'll make a cart for us. Mm, like what? Can it be anything? as long as it looks like a car? Yeah, you could put it that way. But one other thing is that it has to be compatible with the tracks. So, something like... a sedan chair, maybe? Mm. But I'm not sure we have all the materials required to build one of those. How about you, Traveler? Any ideas? What kind of a suggestion is that? to make. Yeah. Sorry, I don't think we have the right materials for that. Really? Hey, everyone. Come and see what Klee made. Ta-da! Look! I made a cart! Wow! Amazing work, Klee! Whoa! It fits a track like a glove, too. Plus, it's a heck of a lot cuter than the ones Adia made. <laughs> just wanted to give it a try, and suddenly, boom, there it was! Paimon's gotta ask, what exactly did you make your cart from, Klee? I used Jumpy Dumpty! Uh -huh. thought so. Hmm, is there a problem or something? If not, then let's get ready to leave. It's a bomb or something, isn't it? Yeah, I gathered from your conversation that Jumpy Dumpty is a little more volatile than the cute name suggests. It's okay, though, because the end product only takes on the general look of the source material. Uh, so to be more specific, while different materials have different properties, most of them aren't transferred to... Uh... It's okay! No need to delve into the theoretical stuff. Paimon just wanted to make sure we aren't about to end up like the, uh... Flying fish of Starfell Lake. Huh? Can we ride the cart now? In a moment. We need a Hydro Idolin to power it up first. Okay, she's ready to roll. Hop in.
The track is damaged up ahead. We need to make some repairs before we can go any further. Yep, looks like it's all reverted to a preprint state here. Do you know why that happened? Everything in this domain starts as a preprint and only takes shape after being illuminated by the streaming projector. But the Hydra Eidolon that forms the tracks here has been trapped in the print. So someone needs to go into the preprint and rescue the Hydra Eidolon, right? But the projector here is sealed off by a giant bubble! That's the Hydro Eidolon's way of protecting the device from damage. If the streaming projector broke, then we'd be seriously stuck. Aha! So for step one, we need Water Droplet to help! Aww, it seems to really like that name! <laughs> um, any volunteers for step two? Leave that 